All right, it is midday, so I think we'll get started. Um, you've got Megan Twinkman, the brand manager here at SoftSoul, and with me today is Matt Carey, our senior engineer. Hello. Um, and the purpose of today's webinar is just to highlight the upcoming change with Google's SSL certificates. We've been through this before, um, two years ago, um, but just really highlighting the implications if you're not on the latest updates for three things and what will happen for your customers. Um, so it has been advertised in our VoIP email um, with the details and also 3CX have sent out some direct emails. But we just really wanted to walk through today just how important this actually is. So um, I'll hand over to you, Matt. Awesome. Thanks, Megan. Welcome everyone. Um, today's session, so we usually hold these bite-sized webinars as a 15-minute session. It's going to be significantly shorter, but we did want to cover all of this off. So what are these Google SSL certificates? So basically what they are is it's not the SSL cert that you've got via Let's Encrypt or anything like that for your FQDN. It is a secure method that 3CX uses to contact the 3CX activation service. Now, these certificates are usually valid for a couple of years. So we had this in 2018 when these certificates were renewed and they're very important to have them. And to support these Google certs as well, the latest version of 3CX does need to be installed. So again, it, shows the significance of keeping 3CX up to date. So it is quite urgent because these certs are expiring on the 15th of September. As Megan noted, 3CX have already sent out uh, a swarm of notifications to resellers and customers as well, and we've been very vocal about it in our uh, updates too. So there are currently two updates available that will make these certs work. We do have one for version 15.5 update 6. It's a small hotfix update that's available. Now 15.5 notably has gone end of life, so ideally you want to be on version 16 to make sure everything's up to date. But there is a update for 15.5 which will extend support for the activation servers to September 2022. However, after that date, because it is an end of life uh, release, you do need to make sure your customers are on version 16 or whatever the latest update is in September 2022. Um, the latest update for version 16, of course, has support for this SSL certificate as well. And both of these version updates are available via your 3CX management console by going to the updates tab. And yes, that is very short and sweet. Megan, is there anything you would like to add? Yep, so I think the real significance um, of the SSL certificate update is that 3CX um, is set up to communicate with the activation servers that 3CX, 3CX have. Um, which, as I say, they use the Google SSL certificates. Um, so if the 3CX instance can't connect with the activation server, it actually takes that instance offline. So it is really important that customers are on the latest update. Um, 3CX have decided that even though version 15.5 is end of life, so all support for that ended on the 30th of June this year, um, and they have released the, as Matt said, a little hotfix, so it's update 6A, um, to keep those running. Some of the reasons and objections we've heard from people about not upgrading their customers from 15.5 to 16 is around their Windows infrastructure. Um, they might be running the old server 2012, those types of things. Um, a lot of our customers get around that by actually moving the installs to Linux. Um, so that is an option if that's something you want to explore, Matt's certainly available to give you some advice around that. But I think the key thing here is that there is literally now two years to get those customers on older PDXs, so the 15.5 update 6A, um, moved across to the supported version. We don't know what the version and the updates will be in two years' time, but as at today, it's version 16 update 6, and we know on the roadmap that they've got a roadmap out to update 8. 
um, when we get a new version after that, we're not sure um, at this point in time. So key thing is, if you are not on the latest update, you've only got to the 15th of September, which is next week, to get updated, or else the 3CX instance will not be able to communicate with the 3CX servers, and that will cause a whole lot of pickle for your customers, which will, of course, become your problem. Um, so if anybody's got any questions, please pop them in the chat. Um, key thing, as I say, is getting everybody on the latest, latest update. If you have anybody that's on 15.5, make sure they're on update 6A, um, because that will be the harder one to actually fix after the fact. So um, really key to get that happening. Um, I think that was everything, Matt. Is there anything else that we need to cover? No, I, I think that's it. The, the key message is definitely make sure uh, you get your customers onto the latest versions uh, as soon as possible. And of course, if your customers are using Linux, um, you can check on the Instance Manager um, within your partner portal um, to check what updates everybody is in. Otherwise, you'll need to log into everybody's uh, system just to check on those updates and make sure that they are installed. So um, it is yep. quick and painful. How long did it take Matt to update our system from update five to update six? Was it like a couple of months? Uh, I uh, took all our call recordings and did some testing as well, but it was about an hour um because i we went from server 2012 to the debian edition and just to answer the question in chat yep all you have to do is make sure you're on the latest update that's all you need to do absolutely so the google sets um cut over on the 15th of september us time so i guess it's the 16th of september new zealand time um but please ensure that you do this um ahead of that um, I know it is reasonably short notice. We pushed it out via email the day that we found out about it from 3CX, which was our last work newsletter at the end of August. Um, and 3CX have also hit the email path. I think I've had about five emails about it so far. Um, but we just wanted to run this really short, quick bite-sized webinar to just push the fact that this is actually a really important update because um, we don't want your 3CX systems going offline for your customers. So yeah. But as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at voice at softsoul.co.nz or give Matt or I a call. I'm happy to talk through anything that you need to know. Obviously, if it's quite technical, please talk to Matt. Um, any other questions there, Matt? No, doesn't appear so. Awesome. So thank you, everybody, for joining us today. We know it's short and sweet. We do try to keep them bite-sized. Um, our next webinar is towards the end of the month, and we'll be looking at the new Grand Stream personal collaboration tools. So they've got some new headsets, and they've got a new um, USB camera um, that fit in that personal collaboration space. Um, so we'll be taking you for a walk through those because the stock is due in the country um, towards the end of the month. Um, is the latest indication. So um, feel free to sign up for that webinar. Um, the details and links were in our latest VoIP update and are available on our um, blog on the event, upcoming events page. Um, so feel free. But thanks again for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day.